And late down at night, they're lying down, resting, verse 2 says. And, and before the lamp of the God, verse 3, went out in the tabernacle of the Lord, before the ark of God was, while Samuel was lying down. And the Lord called Samuel. And he answered, here am I. So he, that little Samuel now, wakes up. Okay, somebody's woke me up, you know, and he hears somebody calling for me. So what's he do? You, you run, go see Eli. Of course, he's calling me. So he ran to Eli and he said, here am I, for you called me. <coughs> and he said, I didn't call you. Go lie down. You're dreaming, kid. So he went back and he laid down. Verse 6, then the Lord called yet again, Samuel. Now Samuel hears it this time. So Samuel arose and he went to Eli and he said, here I am, for you called me. And he answered, I didn't call you, my son. Go lie down. So he does. Verse 7, now Samuel did not know yet that it was the Lord, nor was the word of the Lord yet revealed to him yet. And the Lord called Samuel a third time and he rose and he went to Eli. Here I am. For you called me, didn't you? Then Eli perceived that the Lord had called the boy. That'd be a bit embarrassing when you think about it. Just pause for a moment. Here's this priest living before God. God has not been talking for a long time because, and you read about the priest's life, he stopped listening to God too. Not doing a very good job of being dad, among other things. So God's quit talking. Eli's got to wonder, why is God not talking anymore? And this boy comes along, and finally God starts talking to him. So Eli says to Samuel, go lie down. Read verse 9 now. And it shall be that if he calls you, you must say, speak, Lord, for your servant hears. So Samuel went and he lay down again in his place. Now the Lord came, and he stood and called out, at the other times, Samuel, Samuel, and Samuel answered, Speak, Lord, for your servant hears. This should be the cry of God's people when they wake up in the morning. To get our life going in the right direction. God, I'm starting out today and I'm going to be listening to you today. You might start off with at least a reflection on some passage in the Bible. To get you going the right direction because the rest of the world out there that we live in is ready to mess us up. To tell you to do things your way. And so we've got to reflect on where are we going to go and who are we going to listen to. I, I think about that passage. What is it? Isaiah 55. I jotted down in my notes. I'm not good at remembering and quoting things real well. As uh, as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than yours, declares the Lord. You ever heard somebody say, you have no earthly idea of what we're talking about? That's all we have, our earthly ideas. Because the heavens are much higher, declares the Lord. My ways are higher than yours. Listen to the Lord. Hear what he says. Don't let the world bend you in a direction that says, well, my way. Because we have to choose God's way. God's way. Each time. How about you? What are you choosing? Number one, are you a Christian? Are you even holding back? I just don't know if I'm right. We're not going to get our life right. You can't get it to perfection and say, okay, now I'm ready to be baptized. What won't happen. That's just a Satan trick. Turn your life over to God. Come and be baptized in Christ. Wash your sins away. By the blood of Jesus. And maybe you've made that commitment, but you've allowed society to really influence you in the direction that says, Oh, you know, I kind of like my way. I do most of the Lord's way. I'm here on church on Sunday morning. 
some Sunday mornings. But the rest of the time my way doesn't work that way. Not with God. I reflect upon what Saul did. Put his life on the line. Did everything, absolutely everything. Just brought back, just did one thing wrong, and he was going to give that to God. But he taking it for himself. But that wasn't what God asked. God's ways are higher. Choose the high road. The best way. The only way. And if your life isn't right with God, recommit it and get it right. And come down front. And there's a group of people here that will pray for you and understand what it's like that we all struggle. But let God be sovereign in your life. And choose him if you haven't done it lately. And come on, stand still.